Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how to create this carousel in React. It is a responsive carousel that is looks good in all devices. So let me show you. If I if I change this, if I reduce the screen sizes, okay, see it's responsive. It's responsive okay so let's get started okay guys I already created a bit app so if you can't do that just say npn create bit then you choose react then just follow the steps okay so let's get started all right so I will remove everything inside here okay remove this you don't need all this okay so let's create a div called carousel Then is two. Let's just see Carousel tutorial. All right, I'm using image for my shortcuts. What I mean is, if I, if I say dot Carousel, right? You see, image abbreviation. Then if I click enter creates a div automatically so you can go to extension tab this this search for image okay then install it to be able to use the shortcuts all right so let's continue so i'll create another div box okay then inside the div is three let's say one and there's Copy and paste it four more times. Okay. One, let's see, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. So let's style this. I will move everything in here. You don't need them. Okay. So let's remove the existing paddings and margin and border box sizing I mean border box okay so let's style the cars or div let's see padding five frame background color let's see black and let's just see color of white okay and let's give it an height the height of 100 vh and let's style the box div box okay let's see background color and just light green then height let's see 300 Pixels okay, so let's type the H3 inside the box. All right, let's just see text align center. All right, so let's see what we have. Let's check the browser and see what we have. Okay, okay, it is not looking good. Oof, we are going to fix that. Okay. So let's see width hundred view width. Okay. So let's just let's add the cars. Okay, so what I want us to do is let's go let's go through this step by step. 
then go to the browser search for react all right react slick cause okay then click on this particular one react click documentation this is the website all right so you can ignore this just go to docs then let's the first thing we need to do is to install react slick okay you can either use npm install or yarn add all right so let me use yarn add So copy that and come to a terminal then paste it and install. All right, this we this we install in some minutes, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, so it has been installed. If you use yarn yeah, add and it brought an error, just use this npm. Use this npm react click react slick sleeve to, to install. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is include the CSS, copy this, then do the same thing, paste it here and let's install. Okay guys, to so confirm if you install successfully, check your package.json. Alright, if you have click slick carousel and react slick, that means that being installed. So let's continue. Alright. So next thing is come to examples all right click on responsive so we'll be doing responsive so what you need to do is copy this this particular settings settings object okay so copy it then Come here, come to your app.js, paste it here. Okay. So one, one thing we need to do is to import the CSS before for anything else. So let's come back here. Okay. So you don't need to cram anything. Everything is in the doc. So copy this. All right. Then come here, paste it here. Okay. But we need to remove this. We need to remove this so it will work okay so the next thing we're going to do is import slider all right import slider from react slick all right so we are going to wrap the old box the, oh, sorry we are going to wrap the boxes the slider component okay so let's see slider then add the closing tag below here slider okay so what well, if you check let me come back here if you check if you check documentation you are going to see the structure the settings yeah all right we are going to do the same thing settings that is this settings so let's check what we have okay so basically the carousel is showing but we need to do some styling okay it's not looking very good right now let's do some styling all right come to your app.css let's see slick slide div let's imagine zero power ring 
So I said, I know you'll be wondering how I I come I came across this leak slide div. Okay, so I'm going to show you that right now. When you can see the margin applied to the star, the margin applied to the boxes. Okay, so if you if you need to style anything inside the carousel, okay, you will go to inspect. So for example, let's say I want to style this box, okay? I'll click on. So you can see some classes added to the divs by the slick slick carousel. We didn't add all these div and classes, okay? So that's how we're going to style them. So let me click on this box. Okay, this is the box. All right. So this is the div we just gave margin. Slick slide div. All right. Okay, so this particular div up here is the slick slide. So according to CSS rule, slick slide, then the div inside the slick slide, as I got the slick slide div. Okay. So let me show you another example. For example, you want to style this button. Okay. You can say color. I'm oh, sorry. That's my bad. That's my bad. Let me refresh. Okay. Uh, let's come here. Let's see. You can see there is a class applied to this button. Slick dot next. Right. So if you need to change the style, you can copy this class. Okay. Slick dot next. You can see. Let's see. Right. Minus forty pixels. Okay. Okay, let me refresh. All right, so is we need to. Okay, you can see the the initial style overwrite our forty pixels and forty pixels. So one thing we need to do is add important. Okay, so it's going to work right now. You can see working so if, if you are if you start anything and it does not and it does not change the style just add important to it okay okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to style the dots All right we can go here click on inspect okay and click on it. all right so this is the dots this is ul tag all right, that's the class of slick dots. Then, the yeah, active class. So this is what we're going to start. This is before class, okay? So when you copy it, just copy it, paste it. All right. Okay. So I'll say color light green. Okay. So it works okay it will write it so let's just put an import tag there okay it will work okay you can see it work it's working so anytime any active dots we need to change light green okay so now let's style the ones that are not active okay so this is it. Let's copy it. Alright. I just say color white font size orm so we can increase the button and let's say top to red. Okay, 
Sometimes it works, sometimes the it overrides. So let's just put important in everything. So do sometimes you don't need this important or anytime it does not work, just make sure you add the important. Alright, okay. So let me refresh. Alright, so it looks good now. But we can take this further, okay? Okay, so you can see it is also responsive. Let me check. So it's responsive. But we can control this responsive behavior also. So what we need to do is to come here, okay? So let me explain these properties. Dots. That is if you want the dots to show, if you put it to false, the dots won't be there. This infinite, if I change it to true, okay, so you see the difference now. Can you come here? Let me expand this. You can see it is infinite. It does not stop. At a particular point okay so let's see this speed is the speed you want it to slide okay then slide to show so if I change this to three it shows three slides see then slide to screw if I change this to one let me change this one back to four. I change this to one to scroll one slide, right? So it's scroll to five, scroll back to one, scroll back to two. So, we... all right, so the responsive breakpoints you can set the breakpoints. Then, yeah, let's see. 800 brick points and get to 800 it should be it shows slide to show should be two okay slide to scroll should be one All right then let's see when you get to 550 so you can play with these numbers I just say slide to show one slide to scroll one okay so let's check it okay Three and you get to 800, two and slide to scroll is one, right? So when you get to 550, was it 550? Yeah, it was 550. Sorry, I need to refresh. Okay, and get to 550. It changes to one. Okay, so that's basically everything about React Sleek Carousel. You can read more on documentation, and if you have any question, you can put it in the comment section. I will make sure I answer all your questions. So this is a very fast way to create a React Carousel using React Sleek. And please, if you like the video, like the video.